Hey everybody, what's going on? I hope you're all having a great day. Of course, welcome back to another Cars 3 Diecast review. Today we have Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Hornet. Now before we get into the review of him, I just want to mention one quick thing. So like I said in my last Cars 3 Diecast review, which was of Cruz Ramirez as Francis Beltline, I just got a brand new phone, which also means a brand new camera for recording videos because yes, I do use my phone to record my YouTube videos. So previously I had an iPhone 6, now I have an iPhone 7 Plus Red Limited Edition. It's awesome, it's amazing, I love it so much. And thanks to a wonderful person in the comment section of my last video, they said, yo RC Cars 5, you should really try out 4K resolution for your phone. And so that's exactly what I'm doing for this video. Now since it is 4K resolution, that's a lot higher than what I usually record at which is 1080p. Therefore, the file size is a lot bigger in megabytes slash gigabytes. So that means more time to render, more time to upload to YouTube. So we'll see how this goes. I will decide whether or not the quality improvement is worth the added time. So we'll see how much time it takes, like how much more time it takes now than with 1080p. Like as I'm looking at it right now, I don't really see much of an improvement from 1080p, but you know what? We're going to try it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. But anyway, I know I've taken up like two minutes for both of these reviews of Cruise and Doc here unnecessary, but I do want to test out a couple new things with my phone because there's a lot of options now. There's like 1080p at 30 FPS, which is frames per second, 1080p at 60 FPS, so I might try that one after this just to see how 60 frames per second looks over 30 because right now you're looking at 30 and I've always done 30. It's always been 1080p at 30 FPS, I'm pretty sure. All right, that's enough talk, but anyways, guys, like I said, Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Hornet today, which is Doc Hudson, Lightning McQueen's mentor that appeared in Cars 1 and will appear in Cars 3 in some flashback slash TV stuff. We'll talk about that later. As for his release, he's available in case after Cars 3 singles. The contents will be in the description below if you're interested. Also in this case is Cruz Ramirez as Francis Beldheim and Lizzie. Those are the three new to single releases. Obviously Cruz is a brand new release. Doc here is also technically new, although it's very similar to previous releases, but there are, or at least there is one difference. I spotted one from the package. We'll see if there are more. So kind of a boring case, but it's only hit Australia and Italy so far. Maybe a couple other places, but those are the two prominently in my mind. So if you live in those places, congrats. Maybe you can find them, but I'm sure if you don't live in those places, they will hit your area soon. United States, UK, Canada, I'm sure we'll be able to find them soon. But right now, they're kind of limited, but I'm sure, like I said, they'll be out. I mean, Cars 3 is coming out very soon in theaters for a lot of different countries, so Mattel will definitely want as much product in the stores as humanly possible. So I got him on Amazon. For around $8, unfortunately. It's kind of weird because usually they sell them for $4 or $6 directly from Amazon, but they marked up the price for this one and Cruz as Francis for some reason. Very, very strange, but anyway, I really wanted him. I know I wasn't going to be able to find him in a store, at least for the time being. So here's the package from the front, just like every other package. On the back here, you can see Cruz Ramirez as Francis Beltline. I just reviewed her. Rex Revler, I just reviewed him as well. Lizzie, I'm not going to review her because she is exactly the same as previous releases. Cal Weathers and Cars 3 Lightning McQueen, I've already reviewed. They've been in previous cases. And Harvey Rodcap, I talked about this in my review of Cruz because it's super strange, like really. He should be Parker Brakes, I mean, according to his own single release, he is Parker Brakes. And so it seems like all the case F cars call him Harvey Rodcap because if you look at Rex Reveler here from case B, 
it says Parker Brakeson, but they gave him a new name for some odd reason in the case F car. So I don't know what's going on. What's his real name? I'm going to call him Parker Brakeson because that seems to be, you know, what Mattel wants to call him for his own single release. But we'll see. Maybe he'll get released as a single again under this Harvey Rodcap name. It's super strange. Mattel is playing games with us, guys. Anyway, here is the description. Blindsided by a new generation of Piston Cup racers, Lightning McQueen finds himself suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves. To get back on top, he will need the help of a young race technician. Inspiration from the late fabulous Hudson Hornet. That's this guy right here. And guidance from a few old friends along the way. All right, guys, I'll be right back with this awesome diecast, even though he's not so new out of the package. Now, Doc Hudson has always been one of my favorite characters. It was super sad when Paul Newman, who voiced Doc, passed away in 2008 or maybe 2009. I can't remember, but it was really sad because that also meant the death for the character Doc in the movies. So they mentioned Tim in Cars 2 that he died, but that was pretty much it. Now, in Cars 3, he will have a lot bigger role, even though... Like I said, he passed away, but it will be through flashbacks, his old friends like Smokey here. Smokey is one of the old friends he used to cheer on Doc, and we've actually seen some of this in the trailers. Like for example, just recently, a new trailer, I believe it was like a Japanese trailer, was released. You can see McQueen in Doc's old garage in his like primer gray paint job because obviously he crashed and now he has to get like primered up and then repainted but anyway he's watching one of Doc's old races and now this one is just the one where he crashes so it's not a spoiler because it was officially released as a trailer although I don't necessarily agree with them releasing that in a trailer but anyway I'll show the pictures on the screen you can see this exact paint job for Doc there he's racing he looks awesome and then another scene that we've seen is when Doc like flips over the old time revolting racer and like lands over him to you know get ahead of him so that was really cool that is definitely more of a flashback because you can see that there's nothing like around it whereas McQueen was watching an old film like a TV clip of his race so it seems like there will be a mixture of actual flashbacks and then like looking at the tv so it seems like pixar was pretty creative with like the ways that they're going to tell doc hudson's backstory obviously he won the piston cup in 51 1951 52 and 53 i believe and then it was in 1954 when he crashed unfortunately and so of course we'll also have his old friends like I just said Smokey and then you have Louise Barnstormer Nash, River Scott and Junior Moon. Those three have not been released as die casts yet though so I don't have them to show but I will show a picture of them on the screen. So very cool stuff we've actually seen a lot about Doc Hudson he's even spoken in the trailer he said like Get ready for what's coming, more horsepower, stuff like that. That's Paul Newman. They're using old, unused lines from him. So awesome job, Pixar. I'm so glad that they took that route because when I originally speculated on the Doc Hudson flashback, if you'd like to see that video, link for it will be in the description below. I presented a whole bunch of options of how they could bring Doc back and have him speak. One of them was that. It's actually very hard to do that, but they're making it work. So awesome, just awesome job, Pixar. I'm so glad that they didn't recast Doc because that would just tarnish his memory of being Paul Newman. So all Paul Newman that you're hearing in Cars 3. And so, yeah, we'll see him in flashbacks. We'll see him in the TV and also just stories. So it'll be nice that to see him like, inspire Lightning McQueen because he obviously crashed back in 1954 and McQueen crashed now so McQueen's comparing his career to Doc's obviously Doc retired right after he crashed because they wouldn't really let him back in no one wanted to see him race anymore it seems like McQueen doesn't really want to go down that route he still wants to race so we'll see what happens if it ends up like Doc and he retires or maybe he continues to race 
Obviously, they have a very special bond because after Cars 1, Doc trained him. And we'll also see some of that in the movie. We saw again in a different trailer that McQueen and Doc are racing around Willie's Butte. Doc is in this paint job as well. McQueen is in his Cars 1 paint job. So super exciting stuff. We've seen so much for Doc Hudson. He's on like this cruise stand. And so just a lot of stuff. I know I'm rambling on. You guys may not care, but oh well. I know I'm just a rambler sometimes because this is my passion. Doc being one of my favorite characters. Just want to talk about him a lot. All right, now let's talk about his releases. So Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Hornet under that name is a brand new release and it is different from the previous release. Whereas like before it was called Fabulous Hudson Hornet. So they added Dirt Track on. Now don't get this confused with Dirt Track Doc Hudson. So you have Dirt Track Doc Hudson. This is a 2008 release. It didn't have any of the decals. He was just pretty much racing. It was when McQueen found him, essentially racing, and then Doc got all mad at him because McQueen saw him and stuff. And then Fabulous Hudson Hornet, where it doesn't say Doc in the title, is when he has all the decals and stuff. So a lot of variations of him. It does get a little confusing. So don't get this, this, and this all confused because this one is the Cars 3 version. Like they pretty much combine the two names, I guess you could say. So yeah, we'll compare the variations in a little bit. This one is slightly different than the Cars 1 version. So like I said, it's technically a new release even though it's so similar and now it's only been released as this Cars 3 single so far but most likely it will get re-released because Doc Hudson's so big it's such a big plot point of the movie I'm sure he'll get re-released it's unlikely that Doc will appear just kind of without decals in the movie I think it's possible but he'll mostly be in his racing decals because flashback and will be flashing back to him race all right more rambling again, I'm sorry. But now let's compare him to, well, we'll just kind of go through him and then I'll talk about the differences. So obviously he's a 1951 Hudson Hornet in blue. Just an awesome car. That's why his number is 51. Cruz Ramirez then adopts 51 as the Dinoco Racer. So that's pretty cool in honor of Doc. On the hood here it says Twin H Power, obviously standing for horsepower. I like the red decal there on the grill. I like the chrome, of course. Now you can see that old time Piston Cup logo there with the checkered flags because he obviously used to race in the Piston Cup. It just was a long time ago. So you can see how the Piston Cup logo evolved there. There it is right there on top of McQueen's contingency sponsor. So it was there for him. It says Hornet right there in red on the silver line. Fabulous Hudson Hornet. He has the red rims, which I absolutely love. And now keep this in mind, guys, that white text right there. It says Dirt Track Racer. You guys can probably see that with the new quality on the camera. Back here, 51, and he has the red rims again. The text is on those as well. On the roof here, you have Hudson Hornet written on the roof edges and 51 and 51. Oh, you guys just got a reflection right there. You guys are probably going to go crazy in the comments. I know whenever there's a reflection, you guys get all excited. I don't know when I'll do a face reveal, but I guess you guys, that's some food for thought right there, the reflections. Anyway, on the back here, you can see a couple decals. The Hornet one right there looks awesome. Another smaller version of that right there. And then the trunk handle to open it up there, it says Hudson. You got the chrome bumper right there. Just an absolutely gorgeous car. Here's the base. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was pretty insane right there. So there's the base. It's chrome, so it kind of screwed up the lighting because they were trying to balance out the lighting. My camera was. And so you can see that right there. They have to credit Hudson Hornet over here. So very cool. That's pretty much it for him. He has the one side view mirror over here, by the way, not on the other side. So don't think if you only see one, it's an air. It's actually meant to be that way. So let's compare him to Fabulous Hudson Hornet. This was obviously the Cars 1 release. Here's an example, released in 2007 originally. Let's see if I have another example here. There are some other versions of Fabulous Hudson Hornet where he has a headset or where he doesn't have the red rims or just regular, which didn't even appear in the movie, so I don't know where that came from. But anyway, so comparing the two right now, they look pretty much the same front on, but actually the shades of blue are a little bit different. I'd like to think that 
the Cars 3 version. It's a little bit like lighter. It's kind of, I don't know, it's like smoother. It's kind of like so hard to explain, but I think I would say lighter is the correct way to describe it. Looks like you still have chrome there with the red logo. Twin H power, the decals are slightly different. There's not as much red outlining around them. So that's pretty cool. Now the main difference I spotted is the text there on the tire. So it says Dirt Track Racer. They're on all four tires there. Whereas that was not on the original version. So that was a cool addition. I like when they always add details. Definitely a good job right there. So I really do like that white text there. Otherwise though, you still have that Piston Cup logo. It's very similar. You might just have some coloring differences here and there, but otherwise, you know, same stuff. Fabulous Hudson Hornet. I don't know why it's so bright. There we go. Here's another difference. See right there, there's like a little triangle. It's silver right here with a blue gap inside. That is not on the Cars 3 version. It looks like a little bit like different coloring right here, a little bit darker for the Hornet in 51. On the roof right here, pretty much the same stuff again, just different coloring because the decal makers have been improved. So it's a little bit smoother, a little bit more crisp. Same decals here on the back as well. Just darker actually, it's darker. So very cool. The windows are also opaque now versus being transparent or a little bit more, I guess you could say translucent. You can see inside a little bit, but on the Car 3 version, not at all. So there you guys go. That's pretty much it for the differences. It's kind of unfortunate that, you know, it's not that different on Amazon. Looking at the pictures, it actually looked like this Car 3 version of Doc had dirt on him, hence the name Dirt Track, but that's not the case. Like, I'll show a picture on the screen. It looks like there's dirt around the fender. So I was like, yeah, that's definitely different. No need to worry that they're the same. Well, I get and it's like, oh, that's pretty similar. So really the only differences are that white triangle or the silver triangle back there and then the text around the tires. But I do like that they added that to the Car 3 version. It's definitely a good improvement, a step in the right direction, right guys? So now we'll just do some final comparisons here with some other variations of Doc. So Car 3 version will always be on the left. We already compared that one, so we'll put him off to the side here. You have pretty much the same exact version as this one right here, but instead of having the red rims, they're his typical white wall tires. Did not appear in the movie at all, so I don't really know where that came from. Anyway, let's put him back there because eh, he didn't even appear in the movie, so who cares. Now here is the version of Fabulous Hudson Hornet with the headset. I actually have this one in the package. Pretty cool. And it was also released recently with this Pit Crew stand. You might be able to find that deluxe from 2015 on eBay, perhaps. Pretty cool release. And he did definitely appear in the movie because he was McQueen's crew chief. So I'll we'll actually put the package back there. And then we have the regular version of Doc. Pretty simple without all the decals. And he has his white wall tires. So you pretty much have every combination you could possibly think. Here is the version, no decals, but you have the red rim tires. This is when he went out to practice to see what he could still do on Willie's Butte during the whole tractor stampede scene in the beginning, or actually it was kind of like toward the end of the first Cars movie. McQueen discovers him and he gets all excited and Doc's like, ah, screw off or something. He did not really care for McQueen seeing him right there. All right, that's pretty much it for all the comparisons. Now we're just going to do some like showy stuff. So here is Doc with a Smokey looking pretty awesome right there. I like how they look together. Even though Doc, when he's in this paint job, would have Smokey in a different paint job, like obviously when he was younger in his heyday. And they will make that version later on this year. Actually, that's right. This guy will be released again in a two-pack with Heyday Smokey, which is like a brand new version of Smokey. So we'll see that coming soon. Of course, here's Cruz Ramirez, the in memoriam of Doc Hudson version because they both have 51 there as the number. Here's Lightning McQueen and his Cars 3 paint job. I always like how him and Doc look together. The blue and the red, just an amazing combination right there. And of course, we also have the Cars 1 version because they will appear together in the movie. Like I said, 
their training at Willie's Butte. So definitely some flashbacks mixed with the TV footage. So guys, that's pretty much all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I rambled on a lot. Just a lot of stuff to talk about with Doc Hudson. It's a major plot point for the movie with all the flashbacks and whatnot. So let me know if you guys like this version or do you wish it was better? Which version of Doc do you like the most? Do you like the version with the headset? Do you like the version just no decals and the red rims? Let me know. This is probably my favorite version because it's so accurate. And I really do like that added detail down there with the white text. So guys, thank you so much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time for another one. Let me know your feedback on this whole new thing with the 4K resolution. You should be able to click the gear icon and then a list of qualities will show up and then you should be able to select 4K. Usually it only goes up to 1080p, but now 4K. So hopefully it doesn't take that long to edit and upload. We'll see in about five minutes when I take my phone downstairs and upload it to my computer. But anyways guys, thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye now.